Halloween. Isn't it such a beautiful day? I just feel like you should be excited. I'm damn near excited. I'm damn near about to cry because this is like my favorite day of the year. Forget a birthday, we celebrate. Ooh. We celebrate. Ooh. I'm just so excited. Halloween is like the best thing ever. I do not know why I'm holding my charger. I need Jesus. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it today. Um, didn't know. My other thing was just like chilling. Just chilling. So I just spent some time. I mean, I'm talking about two, three minutes of explaining to you about what I'm doing. And your girl did not hit play. Mistakes were made. Today, I am so excited. I might look a little tired, but I must wake up and rejoice on the last day of 10 days of Black Halloween. Is it the last day to show up Black? No. Is it the last day to support Black authors out here living their best life, sprinkling that goodness, that melanated joy on your life? No. However, I do want to introduce you to some black authors. How many, you may say? <music> 21, yeah, 21. Is it a feat? Yes, it is most definitely a feat. I created a whole situation here, a ranking them out here for you, just to let you know. I do wanna let you know that this video for today is not for me to give you book reviews on these authors. I am just going to let you know who they are. I'm going to put a picture right here, either of the author or of their books or both. I'll let you know the genres that they typically work from, or I'll just throw out a couple of the books that they have written and also let you know about some new releases or some books that may be coming out soon or next year. First up, we have our girl, Michelle Mitchell. Michelle Mitchell is from Georgia and I only know that because I follow her on Instagram and we're like friends and she has a, whew, she got a list. She got a lot of stuff and a lot of books out there. Michelle usually writes contemporary fiction and adult novels. You can you can find Michelle's work on Amazon Kindle, and I think that's the only place I was able to find it. If you guys are able to find it somewhere else, please let me know, but that is where I found it. And also for each of the 21 authors that I'm going to discuss, I will also tell you where you can find their stuff. Unfortunately, I am trying my best to stop supporting Amazon for a plethora of other reasons. However, I also believe in supporting Black authors and a lot of their books you can find on Amazon. So I want to let you know that she has a book called Kissing Strangers. Truth is and infamous. Infamous, I'm ready to read yesterday. So I hope that I get a chance to read that before the year is over. Next, we have Kevin Macklin. Kevin Macklin pretty much reads thriller and adult fiction. I'm gonna let you know about two of their books. The first one is Prince of Ruin, a post-apocalyptic. I hope I said that right mistakes were made and the other book is certain reprisal and you can also find their books on amazon kindle next up we have our girl nicole falls who i am also a fan of and she is from texas some of the authors i was able to find out where they're from but some of them i didn't so i apologize for that in advance but our girl nicole falls write romance fiction adult and let's be real you know your girl me is not always into romance but um nicole falls uh yes give me more give me more i also feel like nicole falls throws out their novellas quite often like there's always something new and ready so i'm just saying holla at our girl i mean i don't know i feel like i'm blushing already i know if i was a white woman face would be beat red but um 
that's kind of where we're at. We're going to just continue and move forward here of me fangirling over Nicole Falls. Oh, shout out to my girl Deidre for being like, you need to read Nicole Fall because you ain't never lied. You never lied. You never lied to me. Woo! Bless you. Okay, so you can find Nicole Falls books on Amazon. First up, we have Release Some Tension. Loved it. Then we have F. We're just going to say F and fall in love a novella i haven't read that yet next we have next we have last first kiss and then the next one we have road to love haven't read that one yet as well the next author we have is tier marks or tier marks i hope that i'm saying her name right i just found her on twitter yes i just found her on twitter I want to pause and take some time and say all of these authors that I have has been a collective and a collaborative action. A couple months ago, I put this out on Twitter and I asked people to give me recommendations. And based on those recommendations, I put everyone here. The only one that I didn't put in this list is N.K. Jemison because a lot of people know who she is and this is supposed to be like authors you don't know. So I didn't put N.K. Jemison here, but if you are looking for our girl N.K. Jemison, bless up. N.K. Jemison usually writes um, speculative fiction. It has like a dystopian feel. I don't know if, if that is one of the classifications of her genre fantasy high fantasy the world building and nk jemison work is just out it's oh my god i don't even know how to articulate it well nk jemison also has a style of writing fantasy that is applicable to right now like to the world that we are living right now also nk jemison work is very vast she has several different um she has several different genres out she has the broken earth trilogy i'm reading um the inheritance series i think is what i'm reading i do want to read another book about i think it's called something with a moon but it's a duology and i want to read that as well i'm just saying this so people aren't like she needs love too she always needs love and i also always want to shout her out every time I can but I just want to let you know why I didn't add N.K. Jemison because I feel that most people know her and maybe that's me being like everybody should know N.K. Jemison but that's where I'm at right now. Technically you're getting 22 authors instead of 21 but here we are. Am I a tangential person? Absolutely. If you were coming for something to be bup, 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 bup. Um, this is not the channel for you but if you were coming for a little jokey joke a little laugh a little random tangent holla at your girl and by your girl I mean who me back to Tier Marks Tier Marks pretty much writes interracial romances it's like oh okay sis you can also find her work on Amazon Kindle so I'm going to list four of her books, Queens for Kings, In the Beginning, Control, Forgetting Him. Okay, I feel like a lot of you are here for the, here, here for the romance. So I hope this is helping. Next we have Zadie Smith. Zadie Smith is from England and I feel like people know Zadie Smith too. I have seen Zadie Smith's um books come up here and there goodreads um twitter instagram a lot of the booktubers i follow also have talked about sadie smith i just haven't had a chance to get to her books which is sad because she writes about historical fiction and i'll be like girl that is where i'm at so i need to get it together so again sadie smith writes pretty predominantly contemporary historical fiction and adult you can find zadie smith's books on amazon kindle barnes and nobles penguin random house and book riot also i want to talk about a couple of her books um, we have white teeth on beauty and swing time by the time 
that this video will be recorded, her new release should be out, and it is Grand Union Stories, and that is expected to be released October 6th. So let's hope that book is out around that time. Next, we have Alexandra Shepard, who is based in London, and they pretty much write YA fantasy, and they have a book that came out recently called Oh My Gods, and you can find that book on Amazon Kindle. Next, we have Ross Gay. Now, I'll be honest, when I saw Ross Gay, I was like, maybe somebody was trying to like shorten Roxanne Gay, but that's not it. So Ross Gay, he pretty much writes poetry and essays. So those lovers out there, get into it. They have a book called The Book of Delights. And they have the following poetry books. Against Witch, Bringing Shovel Down, Beholding, Catalog of Unabashed Gratitude. Wonderful. I love poetry, so I'm always trying to be like, where they at though? You can find Ross Books at Independent Booksellers and Indie Bound. Next we have, have Lanathi Makanda and she writes poetry and I am reading one of her books currently and it's called When No One Is Watching and to be honest, it's nice. I like it. I'm doing more of like a slow read on poetry. You would think that poetry books is something that I read fast, but actually poetry books take me the longest to consume because I'd be like, oh, let me think about what the author must have thought about in this poem and in, in this stanza and how does this make me feel as the reader? I just feel like I'm more introspective with poetry than I am with a book that is not poetry. And you can find Lanathi Books at exclusivebooks.co.za. Now I know you're probably like, oh my God, Brie, you're really out here being like, you could find this here and there. And you're like listing these names. And I don't know, the pen is not moving fast enough for me to take notes. Don't worry, I'm going to also be sharing this document in the description box. So either way, you good. And if you didn't notice, boop, 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 boop. Still Halloween. The next author we have is Dorothy Coombson. They typically write literature and fiction. We have All My Lies Are True, Tell Me Your Secret, The Brighton Mermaid. And I'm like, yes. It's definitely not the mermaid feel. It's kind of like um, mystery in a bit. I read a little bit about what that book is about. So I would go more for adult mystery. So don't think it's gonna be actually fantasy kind of mermaids. And you can find her books at HTTPS, we all know that, www.dorothycoomson.co.uk. And again, this link will be readily available for you. And I also, I don't know if you can see, I also color code them so you can know that they are separate books. So when you look at the thing, um, definitely let me know. And I also want to give like an odd, it's not really an odd shout out, but I have a book recommendation list for the, um, Black a thon and I saw that somebody was like fixing the structure or like restructuring it and like a long time ago I would have been like why would you do something I've already fixed it but I'm like uh yes a Udeme a Udeme like yes I, I feel it also <laughs> oh my god to continue on my tangents I typically throw in other languages that I know or that I'm familiar with when I'm doing my booktube videos. But if there's something you're like, what did she say? Just put it in the comment box and I'll respond to you. And I'll also try to put like parentheses, like what it means in English in the video when I um, do the CC for it. Next up we have 
Marjorie Blackman, who is British, and she usually reads science fiction YA adults. She have a book that one of my um, bookish friends told me that transformed her and transformed the way in which she views race. And it's called Noughts and Crosses. And I think that is becoming a TV show on Hulu. I was Googling it and I was like, what? So I hope that's happening. She also has An Eye for an Eye, Checkmate, Boys Don't Cry. And you can buy her books from www.malloryblackman.co.uk slash cattery slash books backslash. Anyway, it will be in the description box. Next, we have Beverly Jenkins. And I think people are starting to get to know her. But if you love romance, you already know her. If you don't, um yeah it's you probably wouldn't have come across her stuff so she has beverly johnson mainly reads beverly johnson mainly writes historical fiction i have been dibbling dabbling in her stuff because i figured that because i don't read a lot of romance and don't really like it that because i love historical fiction if i read a romance with historical fiction then i'll be like yes 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 it makes sense so that is why i'm diving into beverly jinkson work heavy so i put on here that on her website you can go to her website and i'm gonna pull it up right now and she has a list that it's like and again this will be in the video and it's like Beverly Jenkins um, printable book list. And it's like the Blessing series, the Rhine series, the Destiny trilogy, historical romance, Indigo, Vivid, Night Song. Night Song, these look good. Midnight, contemporary romantic suspense. If you, I feel like y'all will be into that. She also has some anthologies. I have recently become a fan of anthologies because it has introduced me to authors that I think I would have never known if it wasn't in that context. So I definitely think that people try to sleep on anthologies, but definitely get you some for sure. Again, when you go in the description box and you click on this document, it will be there. I do want to let you guys know that probably for this document, I'm not going to allow for editing. Um, I'm just not. So you can just like download it and copy paste or click on a link. So I'm probably just not going to allow for editing here. And if you want to buy any of her books, you can go on her website as well and there'll be a click and it'll be books and she also have an option to buy audiobooks from her too. So big ups to Beverly. Next, we have Mahogany L. Brown, who's American. Oh, Beverly Jenkinson is also American. And Mahogany L. Brown writes Feminism YA Contemporary. And they have a book called Baby, Black Girl Magic. I've been trying to read that. Woke Baby. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that. The Breakbeat Poet, Volume 2, Black Girl Magic. This is available at Thrift Books. I saw it on Thrift Books. Redbone. And then they have a forthcoming YA novel called Chlorine Sky. And I'm just not sure when that would be released. But it's coming. And you can go on her website, actually, and find it. And I hope that this information is helpful to you because... When I tell you it took me a very long time to compose this list, it took me some time. But I was like, well, I think I just like a good document. I don't know, maybe I'm a bit type A, but that's where I'm at. And you can find Mahogany Books. Um, let me see here. You can find Mahogany Books on her website at Target.com and Thrift Books and Amazon. Next we have Lawrence Hill is Canadian 
and he writes historical fiction and nonfiction. His books are The Book of Negroes, The Illegals, Any Known Blood, Blood, The Stuff of Life. Also, I when I was looking at Lawrence Hill's website, I think he has a podcast. Um, I don't know if I, if that's true, but I think he has a podcast and he also has um, book clubs as well. And I really loved how a lot of these authors had websites. I was just, I don't know, is that my relation to the boomers generation? Is that the millennial in me? I don't really know, but I was like, website? Oh, you fancy, you fancy, fancy. But anyway, I was, I was into that. I was like really into people on their website. I was like, click 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 that's me anyway so you can find his books on his website and Amazon Apple books Barnes and Nobles Google Play books audio and Kobo next we have Marita Golden who is also American Prim primarily primarily they write nonfiction and their books are migrations of the heart the wide circumference of love after don't play in the sun and you can find their books at ebay barnes and noble chirp books and abooks.com next up we have claudia rankine who is jamaican and they write contemporary and poetry again hey and i'm sure you've seen this book everywhere citizen and american lyric just us the end of the alphabet and you can find their books at barnes and nobles thrift books and target next we have leah johnson and i know that a lot of you have read her books uh before or her book her debut al her debut album what is who is she okay i know a lot of you have read her debut book i always be like debut album flick it flick it but that's really not what it is so her debut book which is you should see me in a crown hello and that was fiction most of her books is fiction will be fiction she has a book coming out called rise to the sun and that will be coming out in 2021 and you can find her books at barnes and nobles ebay and chirp books but i feel like you can find her books other places as well I assume you can find all of these books on Amazon so if I don't say Amazon it's an assumption that I'm making but yeah next we have Tia Williams who is American and her books she usually writes fiction romance and literature and her books are the perfect find the accidental diva it chicks and 16 candles i'm wondering if 16 candles is like a retelling but make it black you know i don't know you can find tia's books on amazon we have roxanne gay and roxanne gay writes non-fiction and some fiction and i'm so happy that before covid19 happened i was able to see her oh that was great and she signed my book jesus yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do you fangirl do you have like, do you show up in full fandom for an author that you love? Yes. Do she know me? No. Do I love her work? Yes. I can't say I love her because I don't know her, but I love her work. So Roxane Gay, we have Hunger, Bad Feminist, Aiti. Um, I thought I... I thought I had a E.T. I got it from the library, but I had to return it. Shame, shame. Because I had like 17 books at the time and was like, girl, <laughs> you're not going to be able to read all those books. Cut it out. So I had to take it back and hopefully I can get it again because it didn't seem the library had a couple copies of this, but I'm going to see if I can pick it up again in December. December is always my catch-all. Like, what book that I really wanted to get to but didn't get to? Difficult Women, Untamed State, 
not that bad. And you can find Roxanne books on Barnes and Nobles, Uncommon Goods, Amazon, Thrift Books. You probably can find it at Target. I'm not sure, but Roxanne Gay is also a known author. Um, not to everyone. I do find myself being like, hey, do you know about Roxanne Gay? And people are like, who? So it really, it really depends on that one. Next up, we have Zeta Elliott. And if you're wondering what number we're on, it's 20. <laughs> so we have Zeta Elliott who writes children books and poetry. And the books they have is On My Block, A Place Inside Me, Find Your Voice, The Dragon Thief. And you can go to her website and buy all these books. Next we have David Goggins, who writes nonfiction. And the book that they put out is Can't Hurt Me, Master Your Mind, and Defy the Odds. I have heard a lot about this book from my nephew who read it and really loved it. I'm really interested to know you guys' opinions on this book. So let me know if you pick it up. So I don't know if I'm going to pick it up. I'm trying to see if how I'll have time because there's so many books, so little time. So I have to figure out how to incorporate this book into the rest of my ever ending TBRs. Next, um, with David Goggins, you can find this book, <laughs> listen, anywhere. You can throw it in the West, the North, the East, anywhere. You'll find this book, Amazon, Bars and Nobles, Moon Bookers, Audio, Etsy, Kobo, Walmart, Audible, I don't know, your grandma's house. You can find this book everywhere. The last author, the last author we have on here, this is not the last, okay? Black people out here writing every day, but this is the last on the list that I made, is Rebecca Barrow, YA Contemporary, and her books are, This Is What It Feels Like, You Don't Know Me, But I Know You. <laughs> I'm like, what? That title, bruh, so good. And you can find her books at abooks.com, Barnes and Nobles, and Bulk Bookstore. There you have it, all of these names, all 22 wonderful black authors that you didn't know. And if you did know them, yes, that means you're out here and you're being intentional. But if you don't know, that's great too, because now I've just introduced you. And now you have no excuse. So when I slide up in your DM and be like, so what you reading? I'm hoping that is one of these authors. Thank you so much for coming with me on this journey of 10 days of Black Halloween. It definitely took me some time to think of the topics for these 10 days and also get everything moving and going and i appreciate you being here every day let me know in the comment box which day was your favorite or which day that you really learned something whatever you feel feedback is good and don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day and again happy halloween